Hello, this is Sir Brainwave with my first Blender tutorial on how to make a Blender game. It's going to be very simple. For the start, we'll start with basic movement controls, and we're going to try and add a double jump. Let's get started. First, change this button here from a Blender render into a Blender game. This is very important. This will make our cube be able to fall and move properly. Then we're going to press Shift A to add a mesh plane. This is basically going to be our floor, so we're going to scale it up with S and make it bigger. So I go ahead and move it down under your cube. Now choose your cube and go to this property setting and the last one, the collisions. We're going to change it from static to rigid body and you're going to set the rotation dampener to about 0 0.98 now go into this logics panel and we are going to press add sensor it's going to be a sensor for keyboard and then just go in your toolbar tool and click on repeat last three times and then we're just gonna make these the keys that you want to move so first one's gonna be up second one's gonna be down third one's gonna be left and the fourth one's gonna be right Now we're just going to go ahead and add our controllers, which are and controllers. These just basically let our sensors, it could be one and another, to connect it. But for now we're just going to use these ones. And we're going to press repeat last three times. And we're just going to connect these little dots here. Okay. Now we are going to make add actuator is going to be an act a motion actuator, and we're just going to press repeat last three times. First motion we want is going to be a forward motion. So let's just go ahead and make that. We're going to make our forward on the Y axis, so make this positive 10. Connect it to our first one, which is forward. Make the second one, which is backwards, we're going to make it negative 10 on the Y axis. And connect it to our second one, which is down arrow. Make our third one, which is turn right. We're going to make it on the negative, uh, positive z-axis, connect it here, and make our next one negative 1 degrees on the z-axis. Now just try this out, we're just gonna save our game here just cause it doesn't like working, we're just gonna name it tutorial. Okay, now we're just gonna save and press P to play. And you can see you move right, you move left, forwards, backwards. Everything should be working. Now, we are going to make our double jump script so that our player will be able to jump twice instead of just once. Add a actuator and motion actuator and name it we're gonna go in here and change its name to jump we're gonna set the z-axis location to 0 0.10 added controller this one isn't gonna be an add it's gonna be a python controller and we're gonna be able to write in our python script later and 
plug it into that, and it should work. And then we're going to add our sensor. It's going to be a keyboard sensor. Okay, so just make that up. This has to be a jump one, which is going to be our first jump. And then we're going to add a second one, I forgot to uh, tell you. Second motion sensor, a motion actuator. I'm going to name it jump 2. And this is going to be our second jump, so our double jump. So since we want it two times more, we're going to set this to 0 0.20 instead of 0 0.10. And we are going to connect that to our Python controller. Our keyboard, we're going to name it Jump, and Blender is case sensitive, so you have to make sure your cases are all the same. And here we're going to add another game property, property name is going to be Double Jump, and we're going to change this from Float to Integer. One last sensor we're going to need to add is for when our player is touching the floor. So choose the plane, and we're going to add game property, and it is, and it is going to be called ground. And we're going to change it from a float to an integer. Go back to our cube, add the sensor a not a motion sense uh, keyboard sensor this time but it is going to be a collision sensor add that name this one grounded say that we're on the ground click the dot 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 which activates true lever true level triggering and we're gonna connect it so when it's colliding it is colliding with property ground which is our Plane. Now we need to add the script. Op make this text window a bit bigger and press the plus sign here to add a new script and we're gonna name the script double jump and I will have the script down in the description box if I can and we will just put this in here copy and paste it make sure everything's right and then write in the script box here the script name that you added which is double jump and then we're going to te test this out we're going to move around with our cube and we're going to press oh oh yeah I forgot we have to make this press so when you press space bar and we're going to play and why oh, isn't this working One second. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Okay, sorry about that. There was just something wrong with my script. So now, when we play, it should be working, and you should be able to just move around and press space once to jump, and space again to jump twice. That's it for this tutorial. Next time I'll be making a tutorial on moving platforms. See you there.